Hello everybody. Today I'm going to recommend five low budget restaurants to you. Four of them are located in the city of Maxi, all in walking distance to each other. The first one here is a Chinese fast food style restaurant. To access here, take Metro Line 2, get off in No I Station. That's the city center. Exit Bulawa Gari Body, then cross the road. Find a big McDonald. Keep walking up until you find a traffic light cross the road. Walk about 30 seconds. Then you will arrive here. I like it here because it's small, it's clean and discreet. You can uh, pay like 10 euro to have a full meal. Then after that, we walk down to the sea, which you easily find. You just go back to the main road, go down to the sea. The seafront here is a big square called Viewport. That's Old Harbour. Then cross the road, you see this Armorino ice cream shop. But we are not stopping here. Instead, we walk on the side street next to this um, Italian uh, ice cream shop and then we find this um, Vietnamese restaurant called 4187 so you see the menu the first page is full of the um, Vietnamese signature dish of a pho pho is a kind of a bowl of soup with a noodle and meat it's very filling but the lady here today recommends us to have set meal set meal is uh, 15 euro uh, for each. It includes dim sum starter such as har kow or spring roll. Then the three of us ordered different uh, main courses such as this one roast chicken on boiled rice, fried noodle with chicken and fried rice with prawn. Then we have lychee and uh, mango mochi as our dessert. So plus string we paid like 50 euro for three. That's very reasonable. And it's very filling. We pay by ticket restaurant, and we have two fifty tips for the lady. So actually, it's called ticket wakons. It's a holiday uh, voucher issued by some company to their staff. This area is for waiting when you don't have a table. So next, we go back to the town centers uh, railway. Follow the rail turned uh, right to arrive this uh, Turkish restaurant. Now there are many Turkish restaurants in the city center of Maxi, but I love this one the best because they do the best charcoal gilt chicken rings. And you see the menu, everything is like 5 euro, 9 euro, really reasonable, really affordable. <coughs> so we have uh, this Turkish salad and you can just have water. This is my dish, chicken ring with chips and salad, 10 euro. And uh, Hubby has this uh, called uh, kebab chicken one. It's filled with loads and loads of chicken between the bread and a portion of chips for six fifty. So if you don't order drinks, it's less than twenty euro for two to fill you up. Next, go back to the center, follow the rail, but uh, don't go up. Turn this right hand side street when you see this red fire engine there. Yes, you guessed right. There is a fire station on our right hand side. You can see, see this flashing light here. It's called a like, warehead tea. That's a cinema. But next to it on the right hand side is the fire station. Here it is. So walk into this street. I know it's not nice, a bit scruffy and dirty, but that doesn't matter. There's a good restaurant there. It's an Arabic restaurant, this one, the Sef Sef. It's Ramadan time, they're doing set meal of 12 euro. So you got soup and uh, omelette and starter. And uh, main course, I chose a uh, roast chicken and hubby chose some uh, uh, meatball with olive in red sauce. So 24 euro to fit. <laughs> Now this, the last but not the least one, actually I think is the best one. But this restaurant is not located in the city center of Maxi. It's a bit outskirts in a town called Oban. Now if you haven't got a car, it's a bit complicated, but still you can access here by public transport. So I will explain to you later how to get here, get to this uh, little town. So this is a Sunday, almost everything is shut. Um, you can see only some uh, cafes still open for people to have a drink. But the town center is quite alright. You can walk a bit. The town square here it is really spacious. 
lots of benches you can sit down enjoy a bit of the sun it's been dark all day it just just came out this time to about one minute ago the sun came up so we follow this uh, square at the end of it plenty of council flats we plan to walk a bit uh, if you um, haven't got a car when you arrived here you still need to walk 40 minutes to the restaurant but uh, we plan to walk half of the way and then we take the car to finish the rest of our journey to arrive to the restaurant so like I said earlier if you haven't got a car how do you come to here it's a bit complicated but it's doable in Marxa you take a metro line to get off in Castellan station and then take a coach remember it's a coach not a bus the coach will put their destination as Obai this town is called Obai so this coach will take you here then you change number 11 bus, bus to go to this restaurant we are going called Flunch it's in a big commercial shopping center a bit of screen if you have a car there is no problem at all description you can put the address in your GPS you can directly drive it here now today is Sunday so not many people in the park the park is small not big as Mark said but you can see many elderly people enjoying their Sunday afternoon here we walk a bit past this cottage I don't know what it is probably the park's office then we see this bridge that's the other exit of the park so today is a bit chilly see a fort of ducklings down there still I think it's not too bad to live in this little town it's less crowded and less polluted certainly there are fewer cars on the road than Marseille lots of green there I like green I think green is something to your eyes again there are two little ducklings down there after leaving the park we will uh, come across um, uh, this one. This uh, is a pottery museum. Looks very nice and clean. The garden is well trimmed, and the pots are arranged neatly outside the garden. You can pay a visit. It's a shame it's shut. I wouldn't mind to pay a few euro to pay them a visit. If you happen to be here on a weekday. If you don't mind to pay a few euros, you can have a do a short visit. They are welcome you to do a tour. That's what they call a tour. You know, have a visit. So after that, we will come across this uh, sport ground. Probably look, looks like a running competition, uh, something like that. Then we will jump back to the car. Uh, on the way, we pass by this huge retailing center. We got lots of small household products and uh, snacks like chocolate, chips, or nuts. Outside, there is a pizza bonding machine, which I've never seen before. And they are really doing your pizza. You have to wait 10 minutes after you order your pizza. It's not a ready one. So this lady shows me her pizza. Cheese, 7 50 Then we jump back to the car, arrive at the restaurant after a few minutes drive so now I want to tell you why I think this is the best of all these five restaurants because well it's a bit far but it's worth it well worth it because you pay only 8 to 10 euro to buy your main course then you have unlimited serving of vegetables in this section they serve also a salad and a dessert but they're not expensive just a few euro more if you don't mind to pay a bit more if you just want to start uh, just want the main course that's okay so we don't want dessert today we just pick up a small salad and then we go to the till to pay for our salad and choose our main courses so up there you can see 10 different uh, choices like over all of them are meat but like beef chicken or that i have paella and my husband has this uh, brazilian chicken Not feeling up, so we can go back to 
and scan it to know all the ice cream they do or they do catering for occasions like a birthday or marriage. Be a good customer before you leave. Place the tray on the trolley for the staff to clean up easily. So after that, I'm too full. I have to walk around a bit in this car park to digest. So this clip is going to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. And this five low budget restaurant is helpful to you next time when you're in Maxi. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye now.